Okay, so here is my part two of the reading assessment. The book I started reading was Nightmares. The author is Jason Slig. Uh, the genre is fiction, definitely fiction. Um, the page that I'm going to read, I honestly am just going to flip to a random page to read it. Um, so I'm probably, I will read page 20, 121. The reason I chose this page is because it's the random one I flipped to. And I will read it now. Had to be another explanation. Hello? He called out. Dad? There was no response. Charlie held his breath and listened for a sigh of movement. So, sorry, sight's movement. Minutes ticked by and nothing happened. He began to wonder if it might have been Aggie. It, it wouldn't have been the first time the, the beast had raised a racket while chasing down a mice that was living in the mansion walls. He put a foot on the staircase. Then he forced his legs to the... He forced his legs to lift him up to the second. He tried not to think about what might be waiting in the room at the top. With Jack's life at stake, he couldn't run away. He, When he reached the last step, Charlie craned his neck and peeked into the, peeked into the room. Lit by a silver afternoon, lit lit by a silverly afternoon light the tower was empty he searched for aggie but the cat wasn't there whatever had made the commotion was gone though it hadn't left by staircase but but there had been an in intruder that m much was certain one of the one of one of Sh Charlotte's desk drawers had been broken into, and the f and the floor was streamed with drawings. Charlie recognized a handful of the illusions Jack had showed him at breakfast. He spotted a familiar picture of two young girls, a few a few draw drawings of a m of monsters that he had probably never forgotten. Some of the illustrations were so lifelike it was. Hard to believe the creator hadn't po posed for the portraits. <laughs> Charlie bent down for a closer look. He was surprised. Um, sorry, I'm not very good at reading out loud. It's not my forte. So, what happened in the novel so far? So, so far, this guy named Jack. Jack? It is it Jack? I can't remember now. I think it's Jack, had gotten in, had moved into a new house because his dad had gotten remarried. Well, his dad, when his dad got remarried, they moved into this really scary mansion, a really big, scary purple mansion that everyone kind of looked up from the hill. Well, when they moved in there, every night, this, the main character would go in, would wander around the house because he thought he heard something. Well, he so far thinks his stepmom is a witch and he's having these scary, scary nightmares. And so that's what's happening so far. What what does the text make you wonder? I kind of wonder how, like, his imagination is, like, so, like, wild. I wonder, like, how, how he is making sense of what is real and what isn't real. Because sometimes your brain compensates for something. It's like, this is what actually happened. But, I, but I'm not going to let that person know that because it would freak them out even more. Or it's just going to jump to that conclusion. Oh, it's scary. So it's going to compensate and not let you know that happened. Okay, now choose a passage that contains a simile, metaphor, and personification. Describe for me orally what is happening in the specific passage C below. Okay, let me open that up. I'm sorry, I'm like really unprepared here. In in this text, the boy a the boy and a girl have just entered a drugstore. 
The boy wants to impress the girl buying by by buying her candy. So he leads her to the candy. Oh. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here, so I'm going to go ahead and end my thing here. I'm sorry if I missed something, but I'm not sure exactly what I'm supposed to do here because that's all it is. So, bye.